Apple is singing a new tune as its streaming music service debuts with a free three-month trial. After that, it will cost $9.99 a month. The company joins a crowded field consisting of Spotify, Pandora, Google Music, and others. The free trial may convince some users of the competition to test out Apple's offering, though analysts say it might be more attractive to first-time streamers. Mashable's Pete Paschal. I don't know if they have enough differentiators there uh, to, to be a really compelling product, but for people who've never streamed before, this is a great product. Paschal says Apple's recent spat with Taylor Swift over its decision not to pay artists for songs streamed during the free trial could work to its benefit. Swift complained and the tech giant relented. Paschal thinks the move has created goodwill, which could translate into exclusive deals with artists going forward. That could be a game changer. If in the future, a new release is only available on Apple Music, that could get them a lot of subscribers. Currently, Spotify, with more than 30 million paid subscribers, leads the pack and could serve as a benchmark for Apple. They're probably looking to beat Spotify, and if they don't, after a, a few months, then uh, you know that'll be a good judge on whether this is a success or a failure. While Apple's profit potential from the music service isn't known, Paschal thinks it had to jump into Apple the business. Music. How people listen to music and sort of um, experience their media, it's a big deal. They need to have a product here to just stay relevant because once the conversation goes somewhere else, those profits tend to go somewhere else too. So they had to do this. Apple Music will be available for Android users later this year.